Hello everybody, Nurgleprobe here and welcome back to part 2 of our Basilisk build. Once again, we're continuing our work on the Heretic Basilisk that you can see here. We're working on the cannon part this time. And once again, we base coated the model in Death Guard Green. And then what you can see here, I'm working some of the details and bolts with Agrax Earthshade to make it pop out from the rest of the model. I did decide shortly after though to work on the bigger pieces of details on the model first, so we decided to go on to the cannon and paint it all in lead belcher. Also if you can see that grey under the model, don't worry about it, that will be hidden once it's attached to the hull of the tank. So here I also needed to decide which parts I wanted to paint in lead belcher, because we could have worked around some details and left it green. But at the end, I just decided to paint it all metal because we're going to work so much rust and damage and dirt into it later on anyway that it's probably going to be fine if it's all just uh, lead belcher. I also did some of the flooring in the back there, a quick dry brush just to make it pop out a little bit. As we continued working, I went on to Balthasar Gold to work in some bronze looking details. And I will probably add more bronze details to the cannon later on. But for now, I just wanted to do some of the pipings and some of the tiny details on the cannon. Or actually, just a tiny detail on the cannon, to be fair. And the reason I like this is because we can add the oxide effect to that later on. The blue kind of rust, which I really, really like the look of. And also fits very well into the Nurgle theme of the Heretic Army that we're doing. So next we added a non-oil wash to all of that metal to make it, or to give it some depth and make it a bit more oily looking so that it looks like an actual war machine and a cannon, basically. And uh, I did mess up here, we added no water to the wash while doing this, because I was thinking that I was going to do it so dark anyway, and we're going to work a lot of detail into the cannon later on, so that was kind of a mistake on my part, and you will see me move my finger over the cannon part, or the, um, the barrel, just to kind of cover up some of the stains that we created there. Don't worry though, we're going to add a lot of dirt and rust to this part of the miniature, so it's not going to look that bad. We also fixed a lot of it in a coming part here in the video, so, you know, just wait, hold on, don't, don't quote post your evil rude comments about that. And of course, we added some Agrax Earthshades to those bronze details. Then I went back to all that green, so we went back to Agrax Earthshade uh, to uh, do the green crevices and bolts on the rest of the model to give it some more depth. One of my favorite parts of painting these miniatures because it just makes it feel and look so much better than it did before without really having to do anything too complicated. So I want to give a hint to all of you out there who wants to do light color schemes but not, might not be that good at uh, highlighting from a darker base coat or a gray base coat that you could do uh, when doing light colors. Uh, is to just spray the miniature in the light color that you want, whites for example, and then work all the crevices and corners and all the details with a wash instead and just darken the sides and corners of everything down. And that way you don't have to work it up from a darker color and make it look I, that's what I would do usually because I like how it looks when you work up from a darker color But just adding this kind of detail to a lighter one makes it look really good without making it too complicated And also it's really fast if you do it for a whole army So that's a great tip for all of you who want lighter colors to your armies
Next, I just went over the metal part and the flooring here in the back with some non oil to give it even more uh, of a dirty and uh, deep look. So next we did a dry brush with Rune Feng Steel and this is just to make the model pop and do some of the highlighting without making it too complicated. And uh, the reason we're doing all of this, even though we're gonna make it rusty and dirty later on and a lot darker probably, is because we want the cannon to look finished and complete. So this is the way it would have looked if I just painted this for a regular Imperium army. I think I would have been done here, but I want it to look like this so that it's easier to work it down from here. So all the dirt and stuff we add, we don't have to worry about the basic cannon looking bad if we don't add details to everything. So yeah, looks good though. Next we did a quick dry brush over all of the greens with some ogre and camo just to make it pop, added some highlights. And we're not doing edge highlighting right now because we are going to add another wash or add a wash to all that green. The next color we add is Ethonian Camo Shade. So we're doing a wash over all of the green parts of the tank. And this is because I want it to look a bit more green. These are Nurgle heretics and I want it to really look it when you see the tanks on the battlefield. So when I paint my Death Guard, I actually use Agrax Earthshade to uh, shadow up or to wash the Death Guard green. But here I wanted it to feel a bit more green because I feel like the these military units would have that kind of feel to it instead of a darker... Uh, Death Guard Green. Once the Athonian camo shade was done, we also added another shade of Agrax Earth Shade to the flooring in the back to make it dirtier. Thank you everybody for watching. Here is the result of this time lapse and this stream. If you want to watch live and discuss with me live on how the painting is going, you can always check the Twitch link down below and go follow there and see me when I go live instead. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the follow buttons on all the social media so you can see what's going on with this project and all the 40k content that will be coming up in the future. I hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, and what do you think about the results so far? See you next time.